Now let's head to California where a STEAM expo just gave students a chance to show off their hard work from underwater robotics to a reptile sanctuary and a whole lot more. Our sponsor Walton Family Foundation introduced us to this charter school and sponsored this story. Our friend Ellison Barber has details. In San Diego, students are diving in to new subjects. STEAM Festival is quite fun and full of amazing experiences. It's a really amazing opportunity to come here and see what we do. So who are we talking about? It's called STEAM Expo, and it's the grand finale of the academic year at Magnolia Science Academy, giving students a chance to show off their work and see what their peers have been up to. So STEAM stands for Science, Technology, Engineering, Arts, and Math. And here at Magnolia Science Academy, we really incorporate it in everything we do. The STEAM Expo was started to connect our students with the community, whether that's through high school robotics programs, community organizations, and just share the knowledge that we have and the love that we have for science. One of the most popular programs, VEX Robotics. We build robots. Mm -hmm. And the interesting part about it is that it's never the same competition. This year's competition is to grab the balls and then shoot them into scores. Jade worked with her teammates, Adeline and Charlie, to build this robot for the competition. It's really fun because you get to code a robot and you can have help, but you're not, it's not like a teacher is building it for you. You get to do it yourself. If you're struggling, you can, of course, always get help, but you do it yourself, and it's very, very interactive. Students also create their own underwater robots in a program called Sea Perch. Everything here you see was made by students. So you have to take the PVC pipes, cut them down to length, like measure it and use special tools. You also fill the motors up with wax, attach the propellers, and waterproof everything. And for those kids interested in organic creatures, how about a reptile sanctuary? He's like a monkey. Plus, putting the A for arts in steam. The Magnolia Academy Band. Meantime, one of the big showcases at the Steam Expo, an eighth grade English project. This mural is a reimagining of the Anne Frank mural located at the playground of the Anne Frank School in Europe, the Netherlands. Anne Frank was a Jewish teenager who chronicled her family's two years, 1942 to 44, in hiding during the German occupation of the Netherlands in World War II. They collaborated with math to learn how to graph and upscale a mural to their wall in their classroom as well as they used um, information from science about the different birds that are displayed in the mural. And then through English and history, they learn about Anne Frank's life and the experience that she had during the Holocaust. No matter the subject, collaboration is key. My favorite thing that I've learned is teamwork and uh, compatibility. I think it's really fun because you really get to look at every aspect of the word STEAM. It's very, very fun and interactive. And I think that trying new things and being able to attempt to like grasp all of it in three years is really, really helpful for the future. About 60 to 70 percent of our students stay after school and if they are advanced or they want to expand their learning and collaborate with other students, a lot of that is happening during our club's tutoring, sports, and teams. And those skills will take them far beyond middle school. Students who um, engage in STEAM education have higher test scores and they tend to go to more um, universities and pursue those STEAM topics in college. STEAM is opening doors to new pathways and opportunities, one robot or reptile at a time. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.